Hey guys, welcome back to Monster Slayers. I'm Dipher, and today we are going to be continuing on from where we left off with me telling as a barbarian. Now, I, I'm thinking that I'm going to try a knight since we bought some items that will work really well with him this time. And let's see if we can make it further. So most likely this episode is either going to have two classes or one class going from, to two different areas. So let's start off with a knight. Who is an offensive melee class, great at blocking damage, counterattacks, and anti-magic abilities. As we stop for treasure, I... By your command. Let's do that. Hair color. I like the hairstyle. Flesh arm. Flesh arm? Flesh harm. Okay. I'm just going to do... There. I'm going to name it after myself since mostly I am a knight or a paladin in video games. The Monster Slayers Guild maintains a large library with detailed information of many monsters encountered by its members. However, information on the creatures living in the Northern Valley is sparse, and you have been sent here to further the guild's research. Your quest is simple enough, but easier said than done. Slay three legendary monsters and return as a true Monster Slayer. Okay, so we can go to the Crystal Caverns again or the Elderberry Forest. I think I'm going to go to the Elderberry Forest this time. Let's open my inventory. Definitely want that item. Let's put the ring. So last time we got this, and it allows me to draw a card whenever you cancel an opponent's card. Draw a card whenever you cancel an opponent's card. Plus two damage. That's plus nine health, and that's plus twelve health. Let's sell junk item. Which I believe this counts as junk. That counts as junk. That counts as junk. Vampiric Staff does not. Move that right there. Okay then. We can close inventory and let's head to the Elderberry Forest. Poisoned characters take poison damage whenever they play a card, so it's not per turn. Total poison amount is half to the end of each turn. Okay. Let's do some hunting. That's good to know. I like that little axe. Let's do this. So another hero trying to be a monster slayer. Well, it's dangerous to go alone. Choose your companion. Okay, then. So we can either gain 10 coins with a thief, or we can gain 15 mana. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the thief this time. I'm just going to use the name Gold Drinker since no one has commented yet on the video that should just be going up now. You know what? There's an old name I used to use for a rogue. Okay. This will be easy. Counter to goblins, cottage creatures have an ability to hide from your attacks. Okay. <coughs> Let's start off with this. I want the tin gold immediately. Take the block. Four actions. Attack. Attack. Attack for. Perfect. If you the goblin, you gain 5 XP and 2 coins. Okay, then. We're gonna head to the treasure. Hopefully, we can find another level 1 monster. This will get me some good money. Nope. Let's go to level 2 then. Take him out. Let's start the battle. I like the defend plus 2. I will go with the block 7. Then attack, and attack. Flying, so he has a higher dodge chance. Okay. Then. So, power strike. Stay down. I should have done charge up first. My fault. Okay. So, I want to defend, charge up, plus four, gain a card. Concentrate. Five pure damage, since I'm gonna level up right after this, so I don't need to heal. There we go. Life drain. So these vampire bats do have healing, like I thought from last time. I think last time I killed it before it had a chance to attack. Um, I think I just want to flat out attack it. Pure attack. Level up. You defeat the vampire bat, you gain 10 XP, 4 coins. Okay. I 
I really want this card. Because this should be able to activate my ring and weapon. Level 2. I'm going to go to the healer, even though I don't need to be healed. Uh, come back later. Okay, so we can come back later. Ooh, two treasures right off the bat. Let's see. Open this it. Is a nice find. Charge up. That's pretty good. I think there was a captain over there. This is Let's see nice what he gives. I'll pick up Concentrate. This guy give another support item. Hello. Plus three start. Okay then. Upgrading a card or three starting AP. I think I am gonna upgrade a card. How many threes do I have? I have three three cards. Let's get rid of one of them, so now I only have two. <laughs> Let's go kill the orc. Time for some target practice. Okay, I think I can start a battle like this. Plus four, gain a card. Concentrate. I want to draw another card. Defend. Charge up. Plus four, gain a card. One turn. There we go. Okay, then. Improvise. Block seven. Improvise. Attack four. And he said by six, that was my first attack this turn uh, because of Swift Cleaver. In turn. While in your hand, uh, cancel the next magic card played by the enemy. Power Strike. Concentrate. Five pure damage. In turn. Come on, spell. Or is she just gonna flat out attack me every turn? Never stood a chance. 15 XP, three coins. Okay, now I can go fight the other level one. Take him out. I'm just gonna start the battle like this. Do a power strike. Attack four. He should only die, yeah. Leveled up. So now. I think I'm gonna go with starting AP. Yeah, starting AP. Because I don't think the plus five HP is gonna work really that well. Here, let's start it. I wanna use this for AP. This card, Power Strike. Improvise for attack, and that. Let's concentrate. So I can defend, improvise, attack four, attack seven. Wait. Okay, so he uses his dissipate to interrupt my card. I can just do that and that. There we go. I forgot to activate that. Let's activate. Charge up. Plus four, draw a card. There we go. I hope there'll be more challenging fights in the future. Now let's go down to the undead barbarian. Take him out. I'm gonna mulligan. Okay. Then charge up, plus four AP, gain a card. Come on, spell. Power strike. Concentrate. I think I'm going for five pure damage right now. If we get too low, I'll heal, but I should level up the match after this one. Let's see, and then. Okay, then I really need to heal. Let's go to one of the healers. Since there's two healers. We can use this time, and then we can come back right before the final boss. So not having the level twos and level ones right next to each other really does kind of screw you up. Just like that hurts. Um, let's draw a card. No, oh, I didn't mean to turn there, because defense gives me an extra card. See if you can dodge this. Uh. 
charge up. Plus four. Charge up. Plus four. Five pure damage, and he is dead. Level up. Okay, now I'm level four. I'm gonna go pummel because I know how annoying that ability is to have a to have to throw away cards from your hand. <laughs> Web is really annoying. So, uh, I think I can start a battle like this. Charge up, plus four AP, draw a card. Buy pure damage, and those two attacks. Okay, my turn. Pummel, goodbye, poison. Pick up 10 extra coins. Dissipate two dis- Oh, what? I thought I was- Okay, I fucked that up. Pure damage. Another web, I'm guessing. No sting. Okay. Plus four, draw a card. Improvise. Stay down. I hope there'll be more challenging fights in the future. Undead rogue. Time for some target practice. I can start a battle like this. Defense, defense. Okay. Rise plus four attack and seven. He's got less health than I am. Okay, he has chain strike, so they deal more damage depending on how many other ones were used this turn. Charge up, sorry, P draw a card. Power strike. So what I want to do is, I want to charge up, or a P draw a card, concentrate, draw a card, concentrate again, draw a card, choose two. Goes. The reason I discarded that card is because that I, I can't believe I did that, because I could have been able to concentrate, uh, not cancel, to cancel to concentrate. <laughs> Get ready for this. I can't speak. Yeah, and I'm just like already. frozen up there. Let's see. HP and hand size is increased to four cards. Okay then. Let's go to the vampire bats. Time for some target practice. Let's start because You're I have this as a draw. Like I have five pure damage, even though I hate vampire bats in this game. I want the block seven. I'll do that. <laughs> Go with the power strike. So since he has fly, that means that is a 50% chance to not be attacked by my cards. I use the block seven then. Draw two cards. Five pure damage. I'll end my turn. Next turn he won't have fly. So I can just Here it goes. Let's go with just their normal attack. And that hits him for nine. 20 XP per. Mama Orc. Let's see what the bard has to say. Variety is a spice of life. Would you like to find the inspiration for your own musical masterpiece? The start of your turn, if this is in your hand, all your cards in your hand have different names. Banish this and draw three cards. I don't really... I don't have that much diversity, so I'm just going to do the 10 XP instead. Let's see what the altar has. Some of the ants, physical ancient card and stone altar covered in runes that say the Harbinger does not fear the blade. Yes, okay then. Permanently leaking by one, but you no longer regenerate mana passively. I can't do that because I have the meditation. Might as well go kill this guy. Take him out. Yep, take him out. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to use Concentrate, which I have a few of in my deck. Let's start the battle with this. 
attack four, charge up. Let's draw a card. Any magic? Yes, but I get to draw like two different cards there. You have to feed the goblin at two coins, 10 XP. Let's head over here. So there was no merchant on this floor. Let's heal all our HP, and now let's go to the final fight, the Mama Orc. Encountered Mama Orc, huge matron of the orcs. Hmm. I think this should be a good opening hand, because I can, oh, might as well pickpocket. I can pummel right off the bat and get rid of one card. I'm gonna improvise block seven and start off with 10 damage. Here it goes. I'm going for the blocks with improvise. Oh. Shrug it off? What? Are those heals? She has 18 mana, so I'm guessing a spell is going to be coming up. Power strike, attack, attack. Yep, there's a spell and the two extra cards. So now I'm gonna defend, defend, charge up. You're not gonna like this. I'll draw two cards with that. Okay. Pummel. Concentrate. By pure damage. By pure damage. Do I want to power strike or improvise? I'll improvise twice. Now I will power strike, attack twice, and then do a normal attack. Attack two twice, sorry. Come on, where's the meditate? Improvise, block. Two attacks. I'm waiting for it. Where's the meditate? No. There we go. There's con not meditate. Concentrate. Okay. So I'm gonna defend once. Charge up. Four AP. Draw a card. I'm just gonna do attacks, and the mama orc is down. Finally, we beat, defeated the first boss. Got the achievement boss lane. You defeat a mom or gain 25 XP and 28 coins and a random item. Okay, now we can leave the level. Let's see. One rank up. And not quite enough for two. My aim just keeps getting better. Let's see. Replace an attack card with a defend game block card and future night starting decks. Replace. Um. I'm gonna look at this while I'm pouring myself another drink. I think the attack one card should be replaced with the defense boost, because it's more draws. Okay, now we have to pick between the Quagmire Swamp and the Dead Force. Since we've already been to the Dead Force, time for the Giggity, the Giggity Swamp. Excuse me. Uh, level 5, extra HP, 10, start each battle with a temporary Venom Strike card. Uh, let's, let's wear that. And let's see, Quagmire Swamp, giggity. This place doesn't look too friendly. Let's go to the entrance. Let's do this. Can we level with your companions, grow stronger, and gain tier 2 abilities, if unlocked. Now choose a second companion. I'm gonna go with the cancel the next two enemy cards because that works really well with my items. Okay. Let's head up to the merchant first, since I have 113 coins. Hello. Viewers. Rending hit. You gain fire resist starting each round with an additional 2 AP. That is really good. Draw one additional card when a battle begins. Start each round with an additional grab those two. 
Okay, then level nine. Um, I think the only thing we can do is go down here and fight this level Let's six. Uh, defend, Venom Strike. Okay, then. That is a lot of damage. Whew. Concentrate. I'm gonna use it to heal. Charge up. Lethal blow. Attack one, attack one. Okay. Got the. Let's pummel him. Concentrate. Okay. So now, really, it's what I want the five pure damage or to heal six. Gonna do the damage here, then I'll do the block there. So that kind of cancels each other out. Now I'm on fire. And I'm gonna block. No, roar. Those two attacks are cancelled. Right now I just need the damage on him. There we go. This could be helpful. And they'll level up too. Flame strike. Deal five di fire damage to the enemies. Enemy suffers ignite mana charge. Let's find an item. What's the new item? It's not showing me. I know. Okay. I was hoping that there would be a level 5 to fight, but looks like it's just another Take level 6. Out. This one seems a lot easier. Take aim. Take aim. Oh, but he's poison resist, so the Venom Strike really didn't do much to him. Attack four, attack four. Then those two. Spells, which is stopped and does eight damage to him. Power strike. Probably should have healed first. Okay, looks like now I have to fight a level seven. Actually, no, I'll go to the altar. If this opens up to level five, I'm, I'm gonna be slightly pissed. Uh, death and decay. If you claim it's gift, you gain 1 HP whenever you play a card, but you can only regenerate mana passively. Same thing, I have the, uh, med not meditate, uh, I don't know what it's, I can't remember the name of it. I have the spell that I need mana to cost. Hello. No, mana to cast, not cost. I'm going to use it to upgrade a card. Gonna level up another one of the threes. There we go. Let's go see what the mage has for me. An improved mana source of magic crystals. I found this value. Would you like some? Gain five mana and one random effect. The enemy suffers ignite five, poison five, or weaken three. Okay. The XP sounds really good, but I really. That card seems very useful. Let's see. I think I'm gonna do the ungraded cleric since it opens up two spots. Hopefully those will be level fives. Start the battle. Five pure damage. Mana charge, heal. And he's poison resist, so you're not like this. Zero damage. The thunderstorm, though. Yeah. Plus four, draw a card. Here it goes. 
Do I draw a card? Heal. I think I'm gonna draw another card. Okay. Pummel. There we go. Almost. And he's dead due to poison? I thought he couldn't get poison damage. Leveled up. Now it's upgrade a card, find an item. Body slam, deal 20%. Equal to 20% of your current health rounded down. I really love Roar, but that health is. That is going to be really good. Okay, now we can fight level 7s. So I'm going to have to fight that level 8 slime to get to my next place. Anyways. Time for some target practice. Okay. I'm going to mulligan for a better hand. Okay, yeah. 4 AP draw a card. Venom strike, attack, improvise. I'll do the block 7. And the 3 damage. This is where I'm going to body slam for 20 damage. Do that. Get the 10 coins. Get the 2 attacks. Come on, spell. Nope. Gonna do mana shards. Concentrate. Gonna do the two attacks there. No, I thought it. I keep thinking I can use that on it, but I can't. Improvise plus seven. Draw a card. Okay. Kill six. Defend. Defend. Improvise plus seven. Power strike and attack. Attack and pummel. Block seven. I am so dead. Um, L six. Magic shards. See if you can dodge this. I think that's a little bit more damage than the body slam. Yep. I've been defeated. I have all these items coming back to my inventory. One rank up. Only one rank up, though. Let's see what the time's at. 27 minutes. Okay, guys. I think that's going to be it for this episode. I will see you guys in the next video where we will be playing the Ranger. Peace, guys.